Once again, welcome to Spooky Tales. In this episode, we dive deeper into the spiritual presence of Phoebe Watson that continues to exist in the Homer Watson house. She's believed to be looking after her brother's artwork and legacy. I've seen like a, a shadowy silhouette in the middle of the room. There's lights all around. So there's nowhere for the shadow to come from. And it's only, you know, five and a half feet tall. There's, it doesn't go right to the ceiling. So it's not like a pillar. It, and it's human shaped and it's just there. Many employees and students at the house and gallery have felt strange sensations inside the gallery, which cannot be explained. We've had kids in, in that room. They'll be doing their artwork and stuff and they'll be leaning like this and being all like, sheepish and the teacher will go what is something wrong it's like it feels like someone's looking over my shoulder they're not scared it just they don't understand that phoebe is just curious and looking over their shoulder so it's it's not just me or you know a single person experiences this. a lot of people experience this kind of stuff phoebe's spirit is not considered to be evil in fact she has been described as warm and comforting during most interactions working upstairs uh, it was about 4.30, 5 o'clock. Uh, summer camp was already done. It ends at 4. But we heard kids laughing, and it sounded like it was inside the gallery. We went in through the rooms. Okay, there's nobody in here. Well, maybe it's outside because kids play here all the time. We go back to work, and then we hear it again. And then I, I tell my friend, Pierre, did you hear that? I go, yeah, I hear it too. So, okay, you go outside. Make sure there's no kids outside. I will go room to room, and I'll meet you in the basement. So I go room to room. He goes outside. We meet at, at the basement stairs. He says, there's no one outside. I just talked to the counselor. She's getting in her car. Everyone has gone home. We don't hear anything. I said, there's no one in the house. And then right then, we hear two little boys laughing right beside us, and there's no one there. So it sounded like two little kids playing hide and seek, and they were just giggling. The Homer Watson house remains an oasis for the living and the spirits of the past. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Spooky Tales. Stay tuned as we see what happens now in the house and our team's experiences.